Hey you guys, good morning. Happy Tuesday morning everyone. Hope everyone is having a great day. So today you guys are gonna be doing a weight update video. I have not done a weight update video, sorry y'all, like a formal sit down weight update video in quite a while. Simply because you guys, I really had nothing to update you on. As I said in a previous video, my weight was sort of fluctuating between that 212 and 214. I had been there for a while. Um, if you guys remember back in May when I went to go see my daughter for Mother's Day weekend, um, the day that I left, I did a weight update video. And my weight was like, I believe I was at the weight I am today, and I'll let you know that in just a minute. And then I went on vacation to go see her. I wasn't even gone a week, you guys. And I came back and I was up. And my weight had consistently gone up for a long time. Um, so, and I want to, I contribute that really to hormonal because I really didn't change the way I ate that much in order to be gaining my weight to be going up like that. So really ever since Mother's Day, <laughs> my weight has really just either gone up or it's kind of just stayed the same. And now here we are in July, the middle of July, and the scale is finally moving in the right direction I want it to go in. So that took a couple of months for things to adjust. And um, TMI, I am 52 years old, so um, I am uh, perimenopausal, so that could have a lot to do with it. Cycles are getting kind of irregular. Um, as a matter of fact, the last um, month or so, my cycles have been very irregular, and I think that had a lot to do with the weight not coming off because, like I said, my eating was still on point, but hormones play a really big part in weight loss, and we all know that. So fast forward to this month, um, where now the weight has started to come off, I think a lot of it had to do with A, um, I got a regular cycle this month, like a really good regular cycle this month, and that helped out a lot um, as far as hormonally and getting all that extra water weight off and just getting everything um, balanced out right. And then also, you guys, a few other things I've been doing, and I know this might be a little bit triggering for some people, but <clears throat> I have been counting my calories a little bit more. Typically on keto or low carb, you really don't typically tend to count calories. Most low carbers and keto people don't. They typically focus on carbohydrates. But even with me focusing on carbohydrates, I still felt like I needed to see where I am calorically. See if I'm taking in too many calories or maybe if I'm not eating enough. Because typically on keto low carb, <clears throat> you're not really hungry. So you may not even think that you're... You may think, oh, well, I'm not hungry, so I'm not going to eat. But if you're not eating enough calories, then you know as well your body will tend to hold on to weight. So I wanted to make sure I was eating enough or on the flip side, <laughs> maybe I'm actually eating too much. So um, I did download a little calorie tracker. I put in my macros. I put in my weight and all that to see where my calorie count should be. And I'm right around about 1,682 calories which sometimes y'all have a hard time getting in, but I do try to get it in. So I think also that has helped as well. And another thing I've tried to do, you guys, was I tried to dial back on the fat just a little bit when people eat keto or carb. You know, if you're not eating carbs, then, you gotta, then you're eating fat and protein. Those are the only thing that you can eat if you're not eating carbs, right? So I just kind of wanted to dial back on the fat a little bit, get leaner cuts of meat, um, not having so much uh, butter and oils and things like that. And I do think that that also helped me out a lot. So with all that being said, the last time I spoke to you guys, I was 213. I think that was like in a video I did maybe, I don't know, one or two videos ago. I just briefly talked about my weight. I was 213. And now you guys, I'm happy to say I am now 211 pounds. So that is definitely a great thing. It's a two pound weight loss from the last time I spoke to you guys about my weight, which was just really like a week ago maybe, maybe not even a week ago. So I'm really excited about that, 211. 
My goal right now, y'all, is to get under 200 pounds. That's my initial goal is to get under 200 pounds. I have not been under 200 pounds, y'all, probably since I was a teenager. Like I said, I'm 52 years old. That's a long time to be that much overweight. So 11 pounds to go before I'm initially at my first goal. And then after I get under 200 pounds, then we'll see how far down I would like to go. But this initial goal, I'm 11 pounds away. So that is the weight update, y'all, to 11. I will not be filming weight updates on a weekly basis like I was before. Because before you guys, like I said before Mother's Day, I was losing weight on a very consistent basis. Like every week I was losing one pound, two pounds, sometimes even three pounds. And then, you know, things, my body and all of that just really started to change up. So now I just kind of have to, <clears throat> you know, let the body do what it's gonna do. Continue to eat how I eat, which is low carb and um, continue to, um, try to again make sure i'm not eating too many calories or make sure i'm eating enough calories and then we'll see what my weight does on a weekly basis now i weigh myself every week but like i said sometimes the weight just doesn't move and for me to make a video every week giving you guys the same weight it's just really just doesn't really make much sense i'm not really updating you on anything so like I said before, if I have a weight gain of a pound or two or three or more, I will let you not you guys know. And of course, if I lose more, I'll let you guys know. I'm hoping that the scale continues to go down because, you know, let's face it, I do love non-scale victories, don't get me wrong. I love putting on my clothes and they're fitting well. I love feeling good. I love having the energy. Um, seeing your body change when you're losing inches. I love non-scale victories. And if it wasn't for non-scale victories, you guys, a lot of us would have quit a long time ago. A lot of us would have quit a long time ago. So it's good that you, that we um, keep measuring ourselves and keep trying on those clothes and seeing how our energy feels and how we feel on a day-to-day -day basis. Because I'm not gonna lie, there were days where I said, you know, this scale's not moving. I'm not going to just eat whatever I want and be content in my fatness. Well, I don't want to be content in my fatness. And that's not to say that you cannot be, but I don't wish that for myself. That is not um, God's best for me, and I don't want that for myself. So I decided that I wasn't going to be content in my fatness, and I was just going to... Um, continue to do what I know, do what I know works. I have been doing low carb off and on for a long time. And um, because I have, you know, quit and gone back, quit and gone back, a lot of time, that noise out there, y'all, they're doing construction out there and I have the door open so that noise was like getting to me. So because I have quit and gone back, quit and gone back, I didn't really give it time to really, um, to see how far I can go with the weight loss. I think when I first started keto years and years and years ago, I think the lowest I got down, you guys, was probably about 220 maybe, somewhere in there. And then because I didn't do any adjustments or, or whatever the case may be, I kind of quit and gained all the weight back and just all that back and forth nonsense. And for me anyway, it's, it's time to not do that anymore. I like being small, a smaller person. I like feeling smaller. And that is just how I feel very good in my body and in my clothes. And health-wise, for me anyway, it is better to be smaller. It's better for my blood pressure. It is better for, you know, swelling and, and all of that. It is just better for me in that way. So I could not just give up on myself yet again and go back and being 260, 270, 280 pounds, you know, nearly 300 pounds. That is not what's best for me. That's not God's best for me. And I don't wish that on myself. So we're gonna keep going. We're gonna keep going. I'm gonna keep doing what I know works. I hope you keep doing what you know works for you. Low carb is not for everyone. Some people do Weight Watchers. Some people do Trim Healthy Mama. Some people do a myriad of things, whatever it works for you, whatever makes you feel good, whatever gets the scale moving for you, that is what I want you to do because I want God's best for you as well. 
All right, you guys, that's gonna do it for this weight update video. I'm having my coffee right now. I'm also filming a what I eat in a day video, so you guys will be seeing that later on this evening. So, as always, you guys, I'll see you guys later. Have a great day. Bye now.